Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a brand new tool that allows you to reverse engineer your competitors and compare the data with your own website so that you know exactly what's needed to rank on the first page of Google. And this is actually a free tool that you can have for free and use it as many times as you like. Now you don't have to reverse engineer only your competitors or sites that rank on the first page of Google for your keyword, you can actually add any amount of URLs in here up to 100 URLs and go and crawl them so sometimes I actually like to use this to crawl my own websites and get all of the data from my websites so anyway let me show you the kind of results that you can expect by using this software and why and how it can actually become helpful to you and then I'll actually show you the software in action okay so the software actually downloads two files one of the files is this CSV file down here and this CSV file contains all of the URLs that we actually scrape so in this scrape you can see we've done 64 urls okay because the very first one is actually a heading and it next to uh, and in the following cells we can actually see some information so we can see the search intent so we scrape this content and we can see the kind of intent that this content is actually um created for so almost all of them or I think all of them here um, are actually for informational okay it tells you the content type if it's a blog post what it is okay it also tells you if they're using schema and if they are using schema what type of schema and it actually gives you the entire schema for each one of these websites so a lot of the times I find myself struggling to know what type of schema should I include on my actual post and if I should include the schema um, and this allows me to quickly gauge and see exactly what my competitors are doing it allows me to see their titles as well so I can see all of the titles I can see all of the descriptions and meta the meta descriptions these are and I can also see the word count on all of these um, down here as well okay I'm going to show you how we can get averages in a moment the software does pull them out for us as well okay and you can also see the readability score uh, for for these uh, websites and these URLs that we scraped it also lets us know if these URLs have a video or if they don't have a video it also lets us know what the word what, what the image count is if they have images and how many images they have it lets us know the alternative text that they are using for these images as well okay and it also shows us if they've got internal links and if so how many internal links they have okay and it also lets us know if they have external links and how many external links they have as well now this area here I really like it it's the external links so it actually lists all of the URLs that these sites are externally linking out to as well okay also if we can find out what the content management system is that they're using on this website then it'll make notes of that as well so as you can see down here we've got WordPress we've got unknown um, some of them have things like Shopify down here as well so you see Shopify stores down here as well okay if there's any emails we'll try and grab the emails as well and add them into the CSV file um, and then this section down here is something that I use quite quite a lot actually okay so it tells us what are the heading ones on all of these sites it tells us what are the heading twos okay and they're all separated by this little character here it tells us the heading threes and the heading fours as well okay so this is invaluable information when you want to go out there um, and you want to actually compare your site against um, your competition competitor sites or you want to go out there and see how sites are actually optimizing to rank okay so the way that I like to do this myself personally guys is I like to go over to Google I like to do my search for the keyword that I'm looking to rank for okay and then you can change this figure here up to a hundred okay I've got it changed to and num equals 60 so I'm see so I'm showing 60 URLs on the first page of Google okay and then what I do is I use this link gopher plugin and this link gopher plugin allows allows me to extract all of the URLs I then go and extract all of the URLs excluding the Google URLs okay and then I add them to the software and what this allows me to do is it allows me to go and get an analysis on all of the sites that are ranking inside of Google okay so you can do this with only the top 10 sites you can actually do this with the top 20 sites and sometimes what I like to do is I like to extract all of the key all of the um, URLs and then only go to URLs like for example on here you can see we've got Microsoft Excel actually having multiple links in here so I might only use one Microsoft Excel link a lot of the times I might even exclude sites like Microsoft Excel and instead go for these kind of sites like spreadsheet page or um, spreadsheeto um, 
which I know are going to be kind of like blogs um, that are going to be doing it. Um, things like Etsy, I might not want to include. But anyway, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. I've got a raw dump right here, okay, that I've done. Um, as you can see, I've got loads of URLs in here. Some of them are exactly um, from the same website as well. Okay, and I'm going to show you how this software works. And then I'm going to show you how we can um, actually have a look at the comparison file as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and this is, I've actually got... Um, 37 URLs here. Okay, so I'm going to add these 37 URLs here. As you can see, it's in the software 37. And I'm going to go over and get my keyword as well. Okay, I'm going to add my keyword down here. You don't have to add your keyword if you don't want to. The keyword is uh, is used when you're comparing it with your own website and the other sites that you're adding down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a URL that I've got down here. This is from a website called um, Sheet Nerds. Um, I'm just going to add it down here for comparison so that we can see exactly how it works. Okay, I'm going to close out of this file and I'm going to make sure that I've got no other files open and I'm going to go ahead and click on analyze. The software is now going to go ahead and scrape each one of these URLs and bring back all of the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the folder that we have the seoanalyzer.exe inside. Again, guys, this is yours for free. OK, um, you can use it as many times as you like. And it has two files down here. Um, it's got an XLSX file, which is an Excel file, which I just opened up in front of you now. And it's also got this suggestions underscore report file which I'm going to be showing you in a moment um, and I'm, I'm going to be showing you how it gives us suggestions for our own website as well okay so we, we have um, some funny things going on with the user interface here guys depending on the size of the URLs uh, but this has been completed as you can see it's scraped all 37 of those URLs I'm going to go ahead and open up the analysis report file we're not going to go through it guys because we've just gone through it just now instead I'll go you th I'll go through the comparison one um, but what this is showing me down here is showing me the URLs that we scraped okay it's telling me the kind of intent for the and what type of blog post it is as mentioned you get all of the schema data on everything down here which is absolutely brilliant Okay, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to go ahead and open up this file here. Okay, and in this file, um, we're going to be able to see some suggestions, some averages, and all sorts of other things as well. So it's telling me that the suggested optimized meta title would be best practices for Microsoft Excel templates, comprehensive guide. Okay, it's giving me a suggested meta description. It's also giving me some average metrics from the competitors as well. So saying the average number of words is 1,152 words. The average number of images is 66. Now, I don't really pay close, I don't pay attention to the number of average images guys and the reason behind it is because some of these websites if we have a look at these um, image counts so um, we have word count image count okay so have a look at this some of these urls okay they have like 715 um, images um, we can actually go ahead and try and verify this as well okay and see exactly what's going on with this website so if I come onto this website, what we can see instantly down here, it's a massive website, okay? And I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see all of these images that it's got down here. Okay, it's got hundreds and hundreds of images. We already know how many images it's got, guys. Um, it's telling us down here, it's got 715. So this is gonna put off the averages. So this is why I don't really um, pay close attention to these image averages. But it does mean that when I have a look at here and I have a look at all of these websites, I know they're all ranking inside of Google. Um, I know that I need to include images in my website as well. Now, some of them do only have one image, for example. Um, some of them do only have a few images in there. But these websites have multiple images in there. So I'm not telling you images are a ranking factor. What I'm trying to say to you is that we know that these websites have come from um, from Google itself and th whatever these websites are doing they're doing something right and this is what we want to aim towards um, so we want to have images on our website it's clear from this spreadsheet here that it's telling us that we need to have multiple images on our website but when it comes to this averages down here then they can be a little bit um, you know um, sent off by websites that have so many more um so anyway the videos you got about 5.88 percent of sites that are using videos so you don't have too many videos on here you can actually see down here has video you got multiple no's you got a couple of a yeses down here um so a lot of these websites don't have videos now i'm not telling you don't go on don't go and add videos on your website now um 
because you know what a lot of the times you're going to be covering topics that you can add videos and it is going to be helpful to add videos and not only that videos can increase your um your dwell time and how long people spend on your actual website so adding videos is a good thing um so i have a video um you know there's sites that are ranking on the first page of google that have videos as well so that's totally fine but make sure you had you add images in there not having a video is also going to be totally fine as we can see from here okay but videos do have their advantages um, on their own okay so anyway the readability score as well so this is some kind of flesh kincaid grade okay and it's saying 7.49 so that's the kind of aim that you want to go for okay and you can go ahead and just google what this grade means and it'll tell you what kind of level it's made for okay so the comparison with your own site it says my word count is 698 words i've got about 454 words less than the average word count okay my image count is 11 images it's saying down here i've got about 11 i've got about 55 images less okay and it says your readability score is 10 okay which is saying it's a it's probably a little bit too high tech or it's a little bit too advanced um and it needs to come down a little bit okay um now let's have a look at the headings so you're saying your heading h1 count is one okay zero compared to the average so basically it's bang on okay my heading two count is five i've got a two less heading twos than the average okay my heading three count is eight i've got four less and my heading four count is 26 which is actually 23 more than the average on the first page so what this is telling me here instantly guys um is look Heading fours ain't really used too much by these sites that are ranking on the first page of Google. So instead, what I should be doing is trying to add these heading fours into the heading threes, okay? And using more heading threes than heading fours. But also it's telling me I've got quite a lot of headings um, on my page uh, when I'm comparing it to the other sites down here. Okay, it's telling me the search intent is informational. The content type is a blog post. It's telling me schemas to use. So it's telling me the kind of schemas that are ranked in the order of most popular. So you've got the breadcrumb list you've got the organization you've got a list item web page breadcrumb list okay um and coming down here obviously you can see your articles and blog posting and you can see the number of times they've been used as well, guys. Okay, and then you've got important keywords that you should be using and including in your content. You've got a bunch of entities that it's making notes of down here as well. And it also tells you the commonly linked external domains and how many times they're actually linked to. So you've got this vertex42.com that's linked to 44 times. It would be cool if it was telling us how many unique domains were actually linking to these external um, URLs because then it would really allow us to find out um, you know the kind of authority links that we might want to go and include on our own uh, content okay um, it also tells us for example um, how many times they're used um, and what ones they are down here as well okay and commonly linked external URLs so obviously we've got the domains here and these are the actual URLs so we can see down here this URL is linked to six times um, this URL here is linked to three times. This URL is linked to two times. And we might be able to pick up on some URLs that we'd like to actually go out and link uh, link to externally uh, on our own pages. Um, okay, so it's saying suggested readability level, aim for a score grade level of 7.49 to match the competitor content. And then it gives us some content gap analysis. Consider covering topics and, uh, topics and subtopics that are commonly addressed by competitors and keyword difficulty score based on the competitor analysis is the keyword difficulty is estimated to be moderate okay guys so this is a piece of software that you can use to go and you know you can use it on your own urls so you might have a website and you might want to go and find out exactly what kind of schema you're using on your posts what kind of titles you're using on your posts who you're linking out to externally who you're linking out to or into internally um what kind of i don't know heading ones heading twos and heading fours so basically doing an on-site analysis on your own site in 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 a sense okay and the second method is what i've just shown you now some uh, a method that i like to use a lot of the time um and in fact i've used this on my own website as well guys and i've picked up that i didn't even have heading ones on my own website um and that was because of the way the theme was actually structured so i went and made some updates um and i was able to pick up on these uh because this kind of gives you a bird's eye view of what's needed uh or what's being used by sites that are ranking um on the first maybe one two 
10 pages of Google um, and then you're going to be able to go ahead and do the same. So anyway, guys, uh, to get this software, just follow the link below this video, enter your name and email and we'll send you over the software free of charge, no cost to you whatsoever. Um, and you're going to be able to use it as many times as you like. It's a, so, it, it's, a, it's a small and sweet software, guys, that works fast and packs a lot of punch. And it makes sure that you you know, construct your pages that you're going to be targeting that are aligned and you can align them with the sites that are ranking on the first page of Google so that you can make sure that you're not over optimizing, not under optimizing, including the things that you should be including, including the right type of schema and everything else as well. Um, one more thing that I like to do here as well, guys, just to let you know, is I like to actually take sometimes a lot of the H1s. So I'll actually copy these H1s, I'll copy these H2s, H3s, and I'll just send them over to ChatGPT and just say, you know what, here, are all of the headings that are being used by sites that rank on the first page of Google or on the first 10 pages of Google depending how many you choose. Um, and I want you to construct me a nice optimized article outline, um, it, you know, making sure that you combine duplicates together or closely related topics together um, and just construct it for me for whatever your keyword is. And this is a really cool way to construct your article outlines as well using AI. So anyway, I really hope you enjoy this video, guys. I really hope you get some benefit from working with the software. Um, and again, just enter your name and email and we'll get everything sent over to you free of charge.